what is up guys and welcome back to another installment of Tom Flies and Airplane. Um, so if you guys are caught up, I have gone through my training, I've got my private pilot's license now and I'm just out flying around, building hours, having fun, uh, enjoying it. Uh, probably the thing I'm enjoying the most and one of the main reasons I got into general aviation in the first place is to share general aviation. So uh, my wife, my kids, my entire family, they've been hearing me talk about flying for the past, I don't know, 15 years, something stupid like that. But I haven't been able to share any of it with them. All I've been able to do is show them videos. And if you guys fly, you know that video doesn't do it any justice. So one of the main goals was to be able to share aviation and take my friends and family flying. And um, this is the first video of me doing that. So come along for the ride. Hope you guys enjoy this one. This is me flying with my stepdad, Dale. Like if you need to get up high over something. Right. But the 
as far as rate of climb, which is indicated here, it's 75 knots. Right. Or, excuse me, miles per hour in this airplane. Okay. Engine instruments are looking good. Nice smooth takeoff. Awesome. Yeah, baby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited, man. Me too. Been a long time. <laughs> yeah. Solarville traffic, Cessna 17048, uh, turning right crosswind, runway 6, Somerville. Alright, so here's pattern altitude, 1,000 feet. This is a downwind lag on runway 6. So runway 6, right traffic, we're turning right, that's not common. But there's a prison over there, so they don't want us flying yeah, over it. So this right. airport has right traffic on runway 6. So we will traffic Cessna 17048, uh, departing off the downwind for runway 6 to the uh, southwest, last call, Somerville traffic. So do they have a lot of private planes there that do in Charleston, besides the commercial traffic? Or? Yeah, it's a pretty good mix. They got military traffic there too, so. Alright man, we're going to have trouble getting in here. They're busy as shit. But we can't go into their airspace until I can contact them. Right. I'm going to try to get in here. Yeah, he beat me. Charleston approach, Cessna 17048. Cessna 1048, Charleston. Charleston approach, Cessna 17048, type Cessna 150, uh, four miles southwest of Somerville Airport. Looking to transition through the airspace on the way to uh, JZI. Cessna 1048, 748, squawk 0442. 0442 for 048. Go. Three, he gave me a squawk code. Zero four six one five. Zero one zero seven four eight. Radar contact. Fifteen Northwest Charles International. Southeast bound. Let's see here. Three thousand three altitude. Altitude number three zero two four. Flight heading one eight zero. Uh, heading one eight zero for zero four eight. So thirteen four eight. Ten maintain. Nine thousand. They're busy. So I uh, lead the plane out. Nine nine thousand. Cruise. Out of right. Three, three, zero, so it'll, four, we're four, just going to go this way until we hear something different from them. So he knows we're going here. That's, that's Jay-Z, okay, that's what we told him where we want to go. So right now, he's back to, look at this guy's right, 600 feet below us, so he's trying to keep us right from that guy, probably. Right. You can do Alice 33, have a And where is, where is Jay-Z, Right here. Two seven zero Romeo, traffic one o'clock. Right there by the, by the coast, almost by Bali Beach. Right. You're probably heading 150, and also Cessna 748, you're probably heading 150. Uh, I confirm that was for Cessna 17048. I think that was us, but he said 748. Uh, Charleston approach, uh, Cessna 17048, confirm uh, heading 150. Cessna 17048, yes sir, 150, please. 150 for Cessna 048. He got frustrated when I called back to five, five, confirm, five, five, which is bullshit because right. he said you the wrong Tail number, so if there's a set, the Cessna 748 out there, how do I know? I don't. Right. November 10748, yeah, uh, Zoom on navigation, JZI. Zoom on navigation, Cessna 17048. Alright, I got the field in sight. Charles Pro, Cessna 17048, you got JZI in sight. Exit at 501, cleared visual approach, Charles International. Visual 33, exit at 501. Cell 1348, left heading of 100. Left 100, 1348. And number 748, you said you had JZI in sight? Affirmative, Cessna 048. Number 048, use caution, appears to be an aircraft maneuvering around JZI 800 feet. Radar service terminus, squawk VFR, change advisory. Squawk VFR 048, thank you. Awesome. It's beautiful everywhere you look. Yeah. I mean, just. So to descend, all you do is pull the. Pull back the, the throttle, and the, the nose oh, comes down, that's right. it, and you just adjust. So that's a constant speed, that'll keep your speed the same. Obviously, if you keep the RPM the same and you pitch forward, you're going to speed up. Speed up, right. Taxi, Cooper, regional traffic. So I want like 500 feet per minute, so I'm going to slow down even more. I'm going to pull my heartbeat out, because it's a little chilly out. What that does is prevents car icing, which is a, a big fucking problem. So that's Folly Beach there. That's Kiowa. Seabrook, at a stow. Uh, Charleston Executive Traffic, Cessna 17048. We are four miles to the west of the field. We're going to fly around the south end of the field and maneuver to enter the left downwind for runway 9. Charleston Executive Traffic. Charleston Executive Traffic, Pino November 66, Julia 15 to the uh, northwest, be entering a straight in runway 9. 
Golf executive traffic. That's a big guy. And he's yeah. coming in straight in runway nine, so he's over here. Somewhere, so we'll just keep an eye on him. Lights on. Gas is on, undercarriage is welded, mixture of bringing it in, props always set, switches, your seatbelt's on. So nine, nine's that one that we're like parallel with right now? Yeah. And the runway number lines up with your heading. So 090 Off is east, traffic, so the runway is... Number 6628, 10 miles northwest, entering straight in, runway 9. Is 9. If it was like heading 1, 1, something, it'd be he runway 1, 1. Three, five, three, ah, is, uh, you yeah. always know... Midfield left down, for 9, we'll make it quick. Look, I don't and have to see the runway, I know. Or if I know, if I'm looking for runway 4, I know I'm going to be facing that way. Right. Because I'm going to turn heading 040. Indicative traffic, uh, arrow nine, uh, three nine or zero zero tango taxi out to runway nine. Charleston exec. Busy today. Uh, Charleston executive traffic, Cessna one seven zero four eight, uh, one and a half miles south field, overflying midfield, entering left downwind for runway nine. Charleston exec. And at the final runway nine, Charleston exec. Charleston He's on exec. final runway uh, nine, so you should see him right off the, the tip. Six mile final runway nine, Charleston yeah. exec. There he is, see the white plane? out there? Nope. Oh, well, you don't have to see him. <laughs> right. He's coming. I always look too low, probably. Uh, he's, I mean, he's landing, so oh. you lean forward, you'll see him. All right. See, and I was looking out. No, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's almost yeah, on the ground. He's already there. Yeah. Executive traffic, we know number 662 at four mile final runway, Niner, Charles. Traffic, four mile final, okay. I see him now. Big jet coming in. Uh, Charleston Executive Traffic, Cessna 1704. We're going to enter a right teardrop to get into the left downwind for runway 9. Give the traffic on final some time. Charleston Exec. So we're going to overfly here and we'll make a right teardrop entry into the downwind. That'll give him time to get on the ground and off the runway. So we're landing the opposite direction of him? No. No, 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 no. no. Everyone should be landing the same, the same way, runway. I, I mean, some big planes. They have a massive crosswind component, so if the winds are low, like if the winds are calm, it's kind of hectic. Right. Because you're like, well, where's everyone landing? And you just got to listen and, you know, and then use the runway that everyone's using. Right. So, we did a right teardrop there, and now we're on left downwind, so that's a left turn downwind leg for nine. Right. Charleston Executive Traffic. So we're going to go fly out there and hang out. Turn back. Charleston Executive Traffic, Cessna 17048, left downwind, runway niner. Charleston Exec. There he is, yeah, I see the jet, big jet. Yep, I see him. Okay, so pre-landing checklist, gas on, on undercarriage as well, the mixture's full rich. Prop set, switches are on, seatbelt is on. I'll beam the numbers, what we'll do, so when I see the numbers here, RP comes out, throttle comes back to 1500, and I put in 10 degrees of flaps. Oh, they're gonna take him off, or? Yeah, he's holding short. I hope he doesn't pull out in front of me. He won't, I got the, I got the right of way here. Charleston Executive Traffic, Cessna 17048, left base, runway 9, full stop, Charleston Exec. Charleston Exec Traffic, Mino November 668, clear, runway 9, Charleston Exec. So he's clear the runway, this is our base leg here. Oh, come on! Dude. Allendale Traffic, Cherokee 95111 is clear of the pattern, southbound. So now what happens? Uh, we'll see here. Charleston Executive Traffic, Cessna 17048, on final, runway 9, Charleston Executive Traffic. Goes. Slow us down. He's going. Okay, it, we'll, we'll be all right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I would have waited. Right. That was a dick move. And he didn't make a radio call. You hear him talk? No, I did not. I heard the other guy say he was clear. All right, we're landing here. So gas under carriage, mixture, prop, which is seatbelts on. For high, so power for uh, altitude, pitch for speed. Nice. That guy was a dick. Yeah, that was a good landing. Could've, I could have uh, hit a little bit slower, I think, but I'm happy with it. We'll be aware of this guy here. See him. You know what I mean, though? Uncontrolled airports? Right. That shit goes on all the right. time. All the time. Right. You got to be on the lookout, man. That guy didn't even make a radio call. Charleston Executive Traffic, Cessna 17048, taxiing out to runway 9, Charleston Exec. I want to just fly out to the beach. Wherever you want to fly to, dude. <laughs> or we could.
could go fly over my ma. Up to you. Oh, we could do both, shit. What time is it? Yeah, we got an hour. Charleston Executive Traffic Cessna 1704, taking off runway 9, Charleston Exec. Alright, ready to go. Here we go. Alright. Alright, RPMs look good. Engine instruments are in the green. Airspeed's alive, we're looking for 65. Here we go. Or up again. The bird's off the front there. What's out there? Uh, some birds. You gotta really watch for birds around here. They're everywhere. Uh, Charleston Executive Traffic Cessna 1704, departing off the upwind for runway 09. Uh, Charleston Exec. Alright, we'll make a turn out here. I don't see any traffic. Don't look out that way, we'll go to Folly Beach. And uh, if you're wondering, yes, we are in gliding distance of the shore. So unless the wing comes off, which <laughs> nothing you can do at that point anyway. Right? <laughs> so yeah, this is the the east end of Folly Beach. That's yeah, the far, farthest end. Right. That's the sandbar I've landed on. That sandbar there, I've landed on that with my yeah, paraboard right. a few times. That's the Morris Island Lighthouse. Right. Um, and obviously that's Morris Island. And it's deserted. There's nobody on that island, so that's a fun one to land on. But that's Folly there. Yeah. That's fucking sweet. Actually, you want to fly? Uh, sure. Okay, so <laughs> be your, put your feet on the rudder pedals, first of all. Um, okay. Not the top of them, the top of the brakes. But just your heels on the ground, toes on the pedals. Got yeah, it? I think so. Okay, and then just one hand on the yoke, and then you just, I'll say your airplane, and then it's yours. Okay. okay. So, and you say my airplane, that's how you confirm that I'm not flying. So, right. your airplane. Okay, my airplane. There you are. Okay, so oh, boy. pitch down just a little bit. <laughs> Pitch forward. Traffic, you're going that way, so a little bit that way. And shooting just one hand on the yoke is a little easier. It's really small inputs. Right. Where am I? Anywhere you want. Oh, I mean, right. I, would, I would go down the coast, but... And then just every once in a while, glance over here. You're just below 2,000 feet, so you can either let it climb to 2,000 and hold it, do it, or do whatever you want, but that's usually easier. So that's 2,000. When that was pointing straight up, that's 2,000 feet. And that's where we want to be? Yeah, right about there. You can just hold it here. That's your vertical speed, so you are, you're level right now, but you are turning to the right. Do you feel that? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm trying, because yep. I can't see it. I, yeah. I can't see any of what you're pointing to other than the big white. Yeah, it would be, you really don't need any of this flying VFR. You've got, you've got everything you need out there, so... Once the plane's level, you just get used to this, it's called a sight picture, whatever you see out there. Right. And then you just keep the nose there. So, like, nose is coming up a little bit, which is okay, you're climbing now. So you'd push down just a little bit on there, and there you go. <laughs> and if you feel, like, here, hold the yoke. Keep us level, push forward. You see how you're fighting it? Yes. So now you'd use the trim to relieve that pressure. Now I'm going to pitch forward. Now let go of the yoke, what happens? Plane. That's right about there. That's what the trim's for. Uh, so when you trim the aircraft, there's a ta there's a tab on the tail, and that just okay, so we're climbing a little bit, so a little bit of nose down trim. There you go. And now it'll fly dead straight. Well, not straight, but level. Right. And then you just gotta keep the wings level. Do your uh, your gas get tired after a while? Or no? Uh, you shouldn't have to hold anything on the on the. Uh, like, you don't need the, uh, oh, okay. the rudder at all. You only need the rudder for adverse yaw. So, here, I'll take the airplane, my airplane. Your airplane. All right, now watch this. When I turn right, watch which way the, 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 the nose goes. Right. So it turns that way. Yep. And then it goes that way. Yeah. That's called adverse yaw. So, what you do is, when I'm going to turn left, it's this, it's coordinated. I'm going to go left rudder and left aileron. See how much smoother that was? Right. And then when I'm, stop turning, no rudder here. It just going to fly coordinated. Now to go back the other way, a little bit of right rudder, keep the nose and the tail behind, tail behind the nose, there right. you go. Yes. And I'm off the rudder now. And left aileron, or left rudder there, and left aileron, there you go. And that's how you do a coordinated turn, your airplane. My airplane. Yeah, so that's how you, that's what's really important at low speeds, and obviously you can feel it's like, it's weird if you don't use the rudder. You, right. As a passenger, you, you would notice that. Yeah, that's what the rudder's for. And, I, and when on takeoff, too, you've got adverse yaw, but as a result of P-factor and torque from the, the prop, as well as um, you've got the uh, swirl effect, the air hitting the top of the, or the, uh, the vertical stabilizer on the back, so it turns the plane to the left right. on takeoff. 
for all airplanes, except for jets, things like that. Yeah, kind of like the per airplanes. with the paramotor yeah. thing. Same. So when you're taking off, you're pushing on the right rudder as you're climbing. And that's more pronounced with more powerful airplanes. Like this airplane, it's barely any rudder. The weight of my, you're good, I was just sitting up. Yeah. The weight of my foot's usually enough. You need a little just bit more to hold on. Push. But, um, like on more powerful airplanes, it's a lot of right rudder. Oh, you know what we can do on the way? Do you want to, okay, we'll do some, uh, I'll show you what a steep turn is. This is something you have to know how to do uh, in your check ride. Okay, so you gotta pick a, a point, which you can see is fucking hard to do out here, but I'm gonna use right. that fire smoke. Yeah. Okay. Four. So here's a steep turn. So what you would do, make sure that everything's good. Right. Blow a maneuvering speed so we can't just uh, damage the airplane. So the idea is I maintain altitude through this turn, and it's a 45 degree turn, and you'll feel it. You'll feel the G's on your butt. Right. That's how you know you're in it. Okay, so we'll go left first, look left, I don't see anybody. So you're gonna roll into it. One, two. Maintain altitude. <laughs> Sweet. You feel that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. That was perfect. And one, two, bring the power back to where you want it. There you go. That was ten times better than I did on my check ride. Yeah. And then you roll into the moon. Then you roll into one on the right, so we'll do that next. Everything looks good. Roll in. Forty five degree turn. Pull back. Need a little more right rudder on this one. Sweet. Right around the pond. <laughs> yeah. There, now you feel that? We hit our own wake. That was right. perfect. Okay, that means we entered it and entered right. it at the exact same time. Those are steep turns. That was cool. Yeah, that's fun. You want to feel uh, zero G's? Yeah, I'm. Hey, Tom, I'm game for whatever, man. All right. So hold your phone like that. Okay. Oh fuck! <laughs> Did the phone go? We never got to zero. Uh -huh. I don't know. If I... <laughs> we'll try one more time. I might have been holding on to my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Did the phone come up? Yeah, uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the phone did, but I can feel my stomach. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had an awesome time making it. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, sharing aviation, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, at Tom Kubot, all that jazz. Um, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.